Yeah. It always sounds like you fired, but <laughs> doesn't it? <laughs> always sounds like there's lots of firing going off behind the camera. One, That's what Sean always one particular creaky bit. No, yeah. no, 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 you're just covering up your phone. X, X marks the spot. I'm trying to wonder what Croatian chocolate could be like. Is it going to be like filled with like weird liqueurs and jellies and? Yeah. I've never been to Croatia, but I actually really want to go. It looks stunning at summertime, especially. It looks gorgeous. Yeah. Because I know the further you get into Eastern Europe, you'll get like lots of like brands in like sweet shops that you wouldn't recognize from the West. Yeah. 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 I think it's dark. Uh, oh, it's mint. Dorina. Oh, it's mint. Dorina just sounds like my drag name. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Oh, it's like those chocolates that you get at the end of the Indian, you know, to kind of like freshen oh, up your Oh, palate mouth. cleanser. In Croatia, they have a red package for the mint. Yes. I'm the sucker for like nice chocolate packaging. I think it's from when I watched Willy Wonka as a kid. It's like, yes. They look nice. Will yeah. you try them? Yes. Oh my God, I've been into it. Sorry, I should have waited for you. Oh my God, okay. it's so good. It's so good. Okay, I'm glad, I, I'm glad I only just brushed my teeth so that way this just tastes normal. Better than you. Oh my God. Very minty. I think it is dark, is it? It's like eating chocolate covered toothpaste. I don't like dark chocolate, but that is the filling really pops off the dark chocolate. Oh my God. It might be like on the lighter side of dark, like 69%. This is way better than chocolate covered toothpaste. And I would know. It tastes exactly like an after eight, but with more mint. Yes. Yeah. I completely oh, forgot after eights existed there for a second. Unbelievable. It's definitely not the worst, but I'm not a big mint chocolate guy. It's wasted on me. That's not mint, is it? It is mint. Is it? It's a very creamy mint. It's the juxtaposition of the two flavors mm. popping onto the God, that's so nice. Melts in your mouth. And as you know, I like it when things melt in my mouth. You, you do, you do. It actually have to say mint here for me to believe that it was But it's got a mint leaf on it. Yeah, it's not do it for you. No, but <laughs> like if I was to taste this and I didn't know there was mint in it, I'd be like, what is that flavor? That's like? That'd be a very easy chocolate bar for me to put down. You see, I'd find it really easy to put down, to put down my, my <laughs> You'd find it really easy just to finish it all off. In here. More dark chocolate. That looks even darker. Oh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, orange. orange. Jaffa, lovely. It's Jaffa. <gasps> Jaffa cakes! Oh. Wow. I'm not super into Jaffa cakes. No. No, no, no. I don't like the actual orange jelly that's in it. Whereas oh, I, yeah, I'd yeah. love an orange chocolate. Yeah, it seems like it's going to be a, a bougier Terry's chocolate orange. Yeah. Full, Full moon. moon. Half moon. moon. Mm. It's so good. See, that's not a jelly. That's that's a liquid. It actually tastes exactly like that flavor, isn't it? Yeah. Coconut. Oh, look at it. Oh. really intensely orange, right? Mm. It's just full of orange syrup. It's class. It kind of just explodes the in your mouth. orange jelly is perfection. It is mm. so good. I do like Jaffa cakes. I'm partial to a bit of a Jaffa cake, but just it, in terms of chocolate, that wouldn't be my first choice. Yeah. They took a beloved little cake, and then they put the beloved little cake inside a little chocolate house. Do you think that these are real oranges? But there's definitely orange in it. I think it's just the, the like liquid orange mm. in it I'm not a huge fan of. Yeah. This is such a good idea. They're so well executed, I love it. They made it better. Croatia made the Jaffa cake better. Transportable. Mm. Oh. I feel like these guys. <gasps> oh. oh, it's wet on the that is That is a moist chocolate. That is. I swear, this no never normally happens to Dorina, but. Uh... <laughs> changing now, we are going for a Napoli tanka. Okay, so we're moving into a different type of dur Dorina here. Uh, Napoli Napoli tanky. Tanka. This one has a big, like, chunky, wafery vibe. They're changing the texture of the packaging to indicate that the texture of the bar has changed. I don't think they thought that much about it when they were designing it. It's they like, definitely did. Marketing uh, people definitely uh, think that hard about it. Nice packaging. Nice design. Mm. Delicious fucking chocolate, mm. which is the most important thing, really. I do like wafers in my ice cream, so <sighs> why not have them in my chocolate? This tastes very like a Kinder Bueno. Tastes exactly like a Kinder Bueno. It's good chocolate, though. It's mm. really good chocolate. Like. I like this. <laughs> this good. is really nice. The texture is so nice. Yeah. I'd actually say that's my favorite so far. I just think it's because it's milk chocolate. The chocolate is really good. I like that there's something inside it. This has a wonderful chocolate to wafer ratio. Yeah. I just think it's weird that they all taste like other bars. Like there's nothing we've had so far that's unique to Dorina. The thing about wafers is they did, they tend to kind of suck the moisture out of your mouth a bit. So you have mm. to eat more chocolate to re-salivate and then you're just gonna be a never ending loop of eating chocolate. I feel like you could have it with breakfast. 
Yeah, it's, it's a bit yum. more-ish. You can keep yeah. going. Remember I said earlier about like being able to like not eat the whole thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would fucking devour this entire bar. This one for dipping in tea? Mm, yeah. Wafers floating all over the place. Yeah. I don't love that. Even though I love wafers, I just, yeah. If we got this to share, you would blink and like, yeah. have the whole thing eaten. I'd be there crying going, <laughs> you know, I'm sorry, I lost <laughs> control. It's like a creamy Kit Kat. Yeah. I still think the Jaffa cake is the one for me so far. Uh, no, I kind of like both of them now. I'm, that's okay. They're at a tie, but that's the Daddy Kit Kat. Ooh, Choco Moose. Well, you don't need to speak Croatian to know what Choco Moose means. I feel like if you just tear away some of the packaging on this, you will just see that it says Aero underneath. Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen chocolate mousse in a chocolate bar before, and I'm here for it. I actually love chocolate mousse yogurts. Do you ever eat them? I Massive. used to. Here we go. Those are actually quite nice. Yeah. It's not quite mm -hmm. an arrow. Yeah. But it's not too far away from being an arrow. It's got a closer structure than an arrow. The bubbles aren't yeah, too big. Definitely. No, this is the kind of chocolate that would be best not to be chewed, but to let it melt, maybe, you know? Yeah, actually, I should probably do that. <laughs> that advertises chocolate mousse. I would just call this bubble chocolate. I can't believe I'm reviewing this like Paul Hollywood on <laughs> Great British Bake Off. It's like very tight structure of bubbles here. Yeah. It's too much temptation, you know, you, you can't suck it. You have to bite it. Like, do you know what I mean? Foamy, yeah. foamy, bubbly, airy chocolate. And I don't like that texture. Yes, it is nice, but it's kind of, it's a little bit of fancy chocolate, isn't it? Yeah. Whereas like when I want to eat chocolate, I want to eat yeah. shite. It's nice, but it doesn't have like, Fun. It doesn't have that fun element. Yeah, yeah, there's no fun. The other one had like something going on. It had a bit of character. And I am just not here for it. Yeah, it's, just, it's so much fun on your tongue. Nah, nah. It burst. They burst in your mouth. How do people eat those things? It's chocolate for when you're entertaining. A hundred percent. Yeah. A hundred percent. Got the dinner party And to be going. fair, if people were entertaining with this, you'd be like, ooh. <laughs> Oh my god, are they Rice Krispies? Oh. <gasps> Riza. No. Milk chocolate rice. I'm glad it's popped rice, because if it was like unpopped rice, that'd just be like hard and gritty and teeth breaking. So it is oh. like Rice Krispies stuff, or oh. a bit of rice cake oh, or whatever. It feels amazing. Yeah. Now this is something that they've done that I haven't seen before, fair play to them. Like a Rice crispy. Like a stale Rice crispy. Oh. These were making me think more of Rice Puffs than they would Rice Krispies. Such a like, they're the same. Somebody took a bunch of spider eggs and just <laughs> covered it in chocolate. Weird. That is a rice cake. That's just a rice cake dipped in chocolate, but that is yeah. gorgeous. I'm so glad you said that the rice looked like spider eggs. I prefer this chocolate rice cake over an actual circle rice cake with a layer of chocolate on but it. Rice cake's given up the pretense of being healthy. I really like that texture. Mm. The ratio of rice to chocolate is very bizarre. It's definitely way more rice than chocolate. Kind of like popcorn. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not the biggest rice, puffed rice person to begin with. So, mm. you know, kind of lower end for me, but still nice. If you were to go to the shop and buy chocolate covered rice cakes, I'd say scrap that and get just get sense. this bar because it's way more enjoyable. You're doing fantastic work, Crass. I hope we're pronouncing that right. It could be like Cross or Grace we are, or... We are butchering or, it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Speculus. Oh, it's uh, that stuff that MC Speculous. loves. And you love it. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Speculus. <laughs> Look at how happy Niall is. The man I, is losing his shit. I love Speculus biscuits. I'm gonna speculate what this is, but I have no idea. It looks like it's gonna have some sort of biscuit with cream. Biscuity it's sauce. It's so bad for you, but it tastes so good. And what's it's the point the in the living room. if you don't have to be a little bit bad sometimes? I'm, I am feeling a bit sick. I'm feeling like I, I might have one piece of this. Yeah, three <laughs> is a bit overly ambitious. We have been... I am I'm feeling a bit sick. Tastes like Christmas. Ugh. Tastes like a cigarette. That is class. Like a carrot cake or something, which is weird. Oh, do you not get that? I ah. like that. I don't know if the mic is picking it up, but Niall is making absolutely <laughs> sexual noises. I'm making some sex noises here. If it was just the biscuit, I probably wouldn't. Whatever the white stuff is on top. I don't know what that white stuff is. I'm in the splash zone. <laughs> I think that's why I don't like it. I think that the, the two are coming together in a way that ugh, tastes like an ashtray. The biscuit's really spicy. When I say spicy, I mean like cinnamon, like... not meggy. Yeah, nothing wrong with speculus. And so. There's everything right with speculus. I'd say I prefer to the to the rice. Really? Yeah. Wow. Well, different strokes for different folks, oh, I guess. It's a really nice spice. The biscuit is so nice in that. Ooh. Ooh. 
cool. I get it now. I get it. It's so good. Yay. Yay. She loves it. Uh, I think I'm going to be getting on a flight to Croatia. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Make a weekend of it. Actually, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> I hear Croatia's nice. They're entertaining chocolate. Yeah. They're nice chocolate for when you have people over. I was going to say different, but they kind of weren't. Yeah. <laughs> Up until the last two. Yeah. Yeah, Croatia, keep doing what you're doing. Yeah. You know your chocolate. I'm, it melts in your mouth. I'm booking my flights tonight to come visit because I need more of that. I need to hook that stuff to my veins. It is, it is good yeah. chocolate. Thank you for watching. If this video melted in your mouth like the chocolate melted in ours, then like, subscribe, and click the bell. And come back Monday, Wednesday, Friday, because we put out videos. And buy some merch, because they look great.